He proved that black holes are real. Cosmic monsters predicted by Einstein, once thought impossible. He collaborated with Stephen Hawking to unlock the secrets of the universe, rewriting the rules of space and time. Decades of daring mathematics and bold ideas earned him the Nobel Prize in physics. His mind revealed truths the world still struggles to understand. Could he be the greatest physicist alive? This is the story of Roger Penrose, the man who changed the way we see the cosmos. Roger Penrose was born on August 8, 1931, in Colchester, England. His father, Lionel Penrose, was a brilliant geneticist, and his mother, Margaret, nurtured a home filled with curiosity and learning. From the very beginning, Roger was surrounded by intellect, discussion, and the quiet hum of inquiry. Before he could fully speak, his thoughts were already unraveling mysteries others could not touch. As a child, Roger wandered the streets and gardens of Colchester, always asking questions and exploring the world around him. He was fascinated by patterns, shapes, and the mysteries hidden in everyday objects. Even simple things like shadows and reflections seemed magical to his curious mind. By the time he was five, it was clear that his imagination and intelligence were far beyond his years. The Penrose household was a hub of ideas filled with books, puzzles, and lively discussions. Lionel Penrose often talked about mathematics, genetics, and logic at the dinner table. Roger soaked up every word, learning to think critically and ask bold questions. This environment planted the seeds for a mind that would one day tackle the universe's deepest mysteries. Roger's love for mathematics began at an early age, fueled by puzzles and number games. He also learned chess from his older brother, Jonathan, which sharpened his strategy and patience. Patterns, logic and strategy became his playground. Every game and problem reinforced a simple truth. He could see solutions that others could not. In primary school, Roger's brilliance was unmistakable. Teachers noticed he solved problems faster and in ways no one else thought of. He loved geometry, visualizing shapes in his mind before drawing them on paper. It was here that he first realized he had a talent that set him apart. In 1949, Roger entered Cambridge to study mathematics, stepping into a world filled with brilliant minds. Here, he learned from mentors who encouraged his bold thinking and curiosity. Geometry, topology, and physics became his new playground. Every lecture, every late-night study session, pushed him closer to the groundbreaking ideas he would soon develop. Graduation marked the end of one chapter and the start of another. Roger Penrose had absorbed knowledge, honed his skills, and nurtured a vision few could yet imagine. His mind was now ready to tackle the mysteries of the universe. For the first time, he felt a deep certainty. He could solve problems that no one else could. Roger Penrose began his PhD under the guidance of Dr. Herman Bondi, a leading expert in general relativity. He dove deep into the mathematics of space-time, exploring the invisible curves and folds that define the universe. Every problem he solved revealed new paths no one had walked before. By the end of his research, he was already laying the foundation for discoveries that would challenge centuries of thought. In 1956, Roger Penrose began his first formal teaching role as an assistant lecturer at Bedford College in London. Soon after, he returned to Cambridge as a research fellow at St. John's College, immersed in the geometric mysteries of space-time. Amidst the bustle of academic life, 1959 marked a personal milestone. Penrose married Joan Isabel Wedge, finding partnership even as his career soared. Before the fellowship ended, 
a NATO research fellowship took him across the Atlantic, first to Princeton and then to Syracuse, allowing him to exchange ideas with some of the brightest physicists in the world. The early 1960s were a whirlwind, a research position at King's College London, followed by a visiting associate professorship at the University of Texas at Austin. By the mid-1960s, Penrose was traveling between institutions like Princeton, Cornell, and Yeshiva University. During this period, Penrose became fascinated with singularities, points in space where gravity and curvature become infinite. He realized that these were not just mathematical curiosities, but possible realities in the cosmos. He began developing the rigorous proofs that would show singularities are inevitable under Einstein's general relativity. Every calculation brought him closer to a discovery that would stun the scientific community. Parallel to his work on space-time, Penrose explored abstract geometry, creating what would later be called Penrose tiles. These non-repeating patterns revealed hidden symmetries and structures that mathematicians had never seen before. His work bridged the gap between abstract mathematics and tangible reality. Finally, Penrose's paper proving that black holes could exist was accepted and praised by the scientific community. The proof was rigorous, elegant, and undeniable. It was the moment the world realized he had fundamentally changed physics. His ideas would ripple across the field, altering the way humanity understood the cosmos forever. Penrose joined forces with Stephen Hawking to explore the deepest mysteries of the universe. Together, they investigated the nature of gravitational collapse and singularities. Their combined genius brought mathematics and physics together in ways no one had attempted before. This collaboration marked a turning point in theoretical physics, blending abstract thought with cosmic reality. Together, Penrose and Hawking developed the singularity theorems, proving that singularities are inevitable under Einstein's general relativity. These theorems showed that black holes were not just theoretical, but necessary consequences of gravity. The mathematics was precise and revolutionary, reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. Scientists around the world realized they were witnessing a fundamental breakthrough. Penrose developed twister theory to better describe the geometry of space-time and the paths of light. This mathematical innovation offered a new lens for understanding the universe, connecting physics and geometry in unexpected ways. Though abstract, it provided tools that other scientists would later use in quantum physics. While advancing physics, Penrose became increasingly fascinated by consciousness. He questioned whether classical physics could fully explain the human mind. This curiosity led him to explore the role of quantum mechanics in neural processes. His investigations set the stage for ideas that would spark controversy and debate. Penrose published The Emperor's New Mind, presenting his radical view that consciousness cannot be explained by computation alone. He argued that the human mind accesses aspects of the universe beyond classical physics. The book challenged both scientists and philosophers, blending mathematics, physics, and philosophy. It was the first public unveiling of ideas that would stir controversy worldwide. Penrose's Orchoir theory, developed with Stuart Hameroff, suggested that quantum processes in microtubules give rise to consciousness. Many scientists were skeptical, claiming the idea was speculative. The debates were intense, sometimes heated, drawing global attention. Yet, controversy only amplified the impact of his ideas, making the world take notice. As public and academic debates raged, Penrose's profile soared. He became a symbol of fearless inquiry, willing to question fundamental assumptions. His ideas, controversial or not, reshaped discussions about physics, mathematics, and consciousness. The world was starting to realize that Roger Penrose was not just a mathematician, he was a visionary mind crossing the boundaries of the known.
Throughout his life, Penrose has been candid about the personal costs of his genius. His first marriage, to Joan Isabel Wedge, brought three sons but was marked by emotional distance and misunderstandings, ultimately ending in divorce in 1980. In 1988, he married Vanessa D. Thomas, with whom he had a son, Maxwell. Though this union offered companionship, it too ended in separation. Later accounts suggest that he faced challenges in balancing personal relationships with the demands of his work and the complexities of love and family remained a persistent struggle throughout his life. Penrose inspired generations of students and collaborators. Richard Joza, a pioneer in quantum information science and co-inventor of quantum teleportation, completed his PhD under Penrose's supervision at Oxford. Richard S. Ward, known for his work on self-dual gauge fields and the Penrose-Ward correspondence, earned his doctorate from Oxford with Penrose as his advisor. Vahe Guzadian, an Armenian physicist who co-authored significant papers with Penrose on cosmology and the early universe. During a 2010 interview with BBC Radio 4, Penrose stated, I'm not a believer myself. I don't believe in established religions of any kind. He has described himself as an agnostic. In the 1991 film, A Brief History of Time, he explained further, I think I would say that the universe has a purpose. It's not somehow just there by chance. Some people take the view that the universe is just there and it runs along. It's a bit like it just sort of computes and we happen somehow by accident to find ourselves in this thing. But I don't think that's a very fruitful or helpful way of looking at the universe. I think that there is something much deeper about it. For Penrose, the universe is not random, it carries an inherent order. Mathematics and physics are the tools to explore that deeper structure. Across a lifetime of work, Roger Penrose earned recognition from every corner of the scientific world. In 1988, he shared the Wolf Prize in physics with Stephen Hawking for discoveries that reshaped our understanding of space and time. The Albert Einstein Medal, the Dirac Medal, the De Morgan Medal, and the Copley Medal followed. To his peers, these honors confirmed that his mathematics had changed the way science describes reality. In 2020, Roger Penrose was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery that black hole formation is a robust prediction of Einstein's general theory of relativity. He showed mathematically that when a massive star collapses under its own gravity, it can form a singularity, a point where space and time become infinitely curved. The Nobel Committee recognized Penrose's work for providing a rigorous theoretical foundation for black holes, a concept that had previously been speculative. He shared the prize with Reinhard Genzel and Andrea Ghez, who were awarded for their observations of a supermassive object at the center of our galaxy, confirming the existence of black holes. Today, Penrose's ideas remain active in research on cosmology, quantum theory, and artificial intelligence. His mathematical frameworks are used to model black hole dynamics and the early universe. Twister theory and conformal diagrams still guide work on quantum gravity. His influence continues in every field that seeks to understand the structure of space and time. Roger Penrose's career spans more than seven decades of discovery. His work changed the foundations of mathematics and physics, bridging the abstract and the real. For students and scientists worldwide, his legacy endures. Proof that curiosity and logic can still reveal the deepest patterns of the universe.